what's up ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another episode of arc survival evolved my name is smojo thank you guys for tuning in and thank you for watching this episode we my friends already know what we're gonna do today it's gonna be me it's gonna be patty it's gonna be my boy argy and it's gonna be try all right you feel me so we are on a mission today i really really need a few things right um our main goal is to find a new base of operations look at our base it's small it's tiny it's made out of thatch it's, it's pitiful man it's it's not good okay this is not a good base we need to get ourselves a new base right for us to do that we first got to find a new location and then we got to transfer all the items to the new location you for me and uh, i was just thinking like how we're we gonna do all that right easily we can find a new location we got flying mounts we got petty over here you feel me we're good on that right transferring of items as soon as we get a high enough level to put a mountain argy we can go ahead and do that now my boy try here he's either gonna get left or he's gonna come with us the only way he's gonna come with us my friends is if we make ourselves a chiropod if we cryopod see we have to make one of ourselves one of these and i currently have all the ingredients except oil and polymer oil we can pretty much just find oil probably you know around the area that we found crystal so that's pretty much easy now polymore my friend that's the hard one now i believe there are a few ways like early game ways for us to get part i'm just checking in here to see um if we actually have any or not um which i don't think we do let me see <laughs> we have electronics oh we have a little bit of oil we have 15 oil okay so that's exciting i didn't know we uh i didn't know we had oil so how much do we need for a cryo part Okay, so we haven't. So the only thing we're missing here is really just polymer. That's quite literally the only thing we're missing here. Uh, we don't have any on us now. I'm not sure if killing a um, a tech dino, like a tech tech rhino or whatever it may be, a, a killing a tech dinosaur does that give us polymer? I'm not sure. So I'm gonna test out that theory. If we do see one, you know what I mean. If one pops up, we're just gonna test that out. Another way we could get it is either we could uh, we would have to craft it, right? So we go in here, we look up polymorph. We have to craft this, which costs obsidian, obsidian, and cementing paste. Obsidian, easy, right? Cementing paste, a little bit harder. Um, the only two ways that I know how to get cementing paste is one, if we find a beaver dam and we just go up to the beaver dam and we just take all this mint paste out of it boom we have some minting paste um and in the other ways if we if we uh go to the swamp biome and we tame ourselves a frog and then we could just use that frog to kill all the little insects and then we get some minting paste that way right so i think the frog is called bez okay there we go so we we're high enough level to make this saddle we, but to make it we need some minting paste in the first place um we have like none we have no cementing paste. So how are you supposed to get cementing paste if you already don't have cementing paste? You know what I mean? Maybe you have to go to a beaver dam then. Okay. The only problem is I've got no idea where a beaver dam might be. No idea. So I think today our mission is going to be looking for a beaver dam. I think that's going to be our mission today. Um, a lot of this map I haven't even explored, so I have no idea where beaver dam could be right um but we do know where a mountain is so we obviously aren't going to go anywhere near that mountain because mountain does not equal rivers and rivers equals beaver dam so if there's no river then there's no beaver dam right um so what i think we're going to try to do is go east and probably hook around the water line and i'm hoping that going east and, and hooking around a water line it might connect us to a river of some sorts you know what i mean like I mean, how else are you supposed to find a river? You know what I mean? Like, we're trying to find a river. So, I think that's what we're going to try. And uh, hopefully, we run into a beaver dam um, or even a swamp. Because I don't know where any swamps are. Um, and I would love to get ourselves a frog. Even if we do get some minting paste from a beaver dam, I still do want a frog. Just because I like frogs. I like their movement and everything. So, that's what we're going to try to do today. We're going to be taking uh, the boy Petty here since he's pretty much the only one that can fly us, uh, to be honest. He's got a little bit of weight on us. So, we should be able to carry... At least a little bit of cementing paste. At least enough to make... Our, whoa, what are you guys doing on the rocks, bro? But yeah, at least enough to make the uh, the chiropod. Which is going to be a necessity if we plan on taking a try with us to our new base, right? So that's the plan today. Um, I'm going to be looking for a little bit. So I'll catch you guys back later if I do find something interesting. Or if I find the beaver dam. Um, hopefully we don't die to beavers though. Because this will be my first time actually trying to steal 
for beavers. But yeah, I see you guys uh, when anything happens. So it seems like we're coming up on this uh, on this tower up here. Um, I've never been up here, but I do want to see if there's any monsters up here. Well, not really monsters, more like dinosaurs, but I do want to see if there's any type of dinosaurs up here because this could be a potential base location. Um, let me see where. Oh, never mind. Oh, maybe not. It's it's really far from everything. <laughs> if I wanna if I wanna get me a new base, I want it to be at least a little bit in the mid, you know, in the middle. Um, this is just a little bit too far on the outskirts of the entire map for me, but it looks cool. You know, it looks cool. Um a little fire at the top. I'm not seeing any dinosaurs though, but I mean still, I think it looks cool for the most part. Those giant lily pads. I don't know what those are. They look like giant lily pads, though. But yeah, I just thought that was cool to share. The little uh, the little thing up there. I was expecting there to be dinosaurs and everything up there, but it seems like it's not. I mean, there might be on the inside. So we're, we're definitely going to be checking that out later. Once we uh, once we get some better dinosaurs and everything, a little bit, a little bit of armor, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. We'll definitely check that out. But for now, we're definitely just not ready. We are not ready at all. And a lot of stuff is loaded. My game is freezing and everything. But yeah. Definitely not ready. Is that a green turtis? Oh, he looks cool. Where are you? Oh my god! Reminds me of uh, freaking mutant ninja turtles. <laughs> it's Michelangelo. <laughs> he looks cool though. I like him. I like how he looks. He looks cool. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll check you guys back when something crazy happens or, or you find Beaver Dam. So we might have gotten a little bit lucky here. Um, I I didn't find a Beaver Dam, right? Um, but I do see a lot of dinosaurs down here, but that's not what I'm talking about. Look, I found water. Okay, this area, I just want to say this beforehand, this area looks amazing. Like, this entire, like, from the foresty to the greenery to the really tall trees over there, like, this area looks, look at the waterfalls over there, like, this looks beautiful, man. I'm in love with the really tall trees, by the way. I really, I love how there's, like, just, like, trees you know what i mean covering up everything and then boom really tall tree and there's like three of them too but yeah i was looking at this area like this looks like this is water this looks like a you know a river and everything and i don't know if there's beavers here but we're gonna follow this trail we're just gonna follow this trail and, and uh hopefully we can find something i think we're in a jungle by the way oh beaver dam beaver dam beaver dam I'm a little bit scared, though, because I'm not trying to die out here with my only flying mount. It's going to be nearly impossible to get back. Raptors. I don't see any beavers. Oh, bugs, bugs, bugs. Can I take out bugs on? Let me see. I've never fought bugs before on this. I've fought things on uh, on Petty before, just never bugs. I think I could take them out, though. I mean, they're only bugs after all, right? There we go. We took out one. It's just hard to hit them. There we go. There we go. I took him out. I took him out. Okay. Um, there's little ants and everything down there. I don't think the raptors are close enough to argue. Oh, he's kind of close. That tech raptor down there. Yeah, he's kind of close. I don't want to like land down there and raptors just start taking me out. You know. I don't see any beavers though, which is a good sign. So I could just go in there, boom, take it, and then leave, and then head back home, get that car apart. So we could, we could be like one step closer to success. I'm gonna land right here. Let's see what happens. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Raptor's taking him out. Yeah, he's he's a goner. He is a goner. Okay, let's try this. Let's try this real fast. I hear him! I hear him! Woo! I heard you, buddy! I heard you! We only needed one though. Like we got a hundred from that, right? So we should be fine with just this. Like let's not over, you know, unless we could take out the raptor. Can we kill him? I mean, he is a tech raptor and I did say we want to tech stuff. What level is he though? Where, where'd he go? Oh yeah, okay. What level is he? Oh yeah, we're not taking him out. Level 156, man. I want to tame him if anything. I, I want to tame you, bro. Um, 
I mean, I got to tranquilize the arrows and everything. It's just, there's no way for me to get him back home. He would literally you just have to follow me all the way back home. I don't have any Cairo part or anything. We should definitely tame him though, like just to tame him. A 156 tech raptor? Like, bro, what? I'm looking over there. I've seen a level 80, uh, level 80 something raptor over there. But yeah, level 156, that's crazy. Like, I'd love to tame you, for real. Um, I don't think I am though, not right now. I would, we definitely just need to get like a good solid amount of cryo parts before you even think about taming him. But luckily they're running over there, which is good. So maybe we might have a chance to get the rest of this out of here. Some pearls. I don't want to carry too much though, and then uh, Petty won't be able to carry me. Oh, Petty's good. Petty's good. Petty's good. Let me get like. Oh, they only weigh one. So we're. Ooh. Yeah, they only weigh one, so we're definitely fine. I thought they weighed a lot more than that. Got me some wood as well. So that'll come in handy. I want to take out the ants. There we go. Okay. Nothing in the vicinity that's trying to kill me. I think I left like one more in there. I want to get that one more. All right, all right, let's leave. Let's go back home. Go back home and let's go ahead and uh, create this car apart real quick. If anyone is wondering where that was on a map, it's uh, 4020, around there, around 40, like roughly 4020, you just go there and you'll, you'll find like, there's like three beaver dams there. So, I mean, yeah, that's where you would go on the map. It's also really good for like carnivores too, like, oh, and crystal, I just found a crystal. I didn't even know this was here, but yeah, good for crystal. A lot of dinosaurs spawn in this open land here. I've seen about like a bunch of raptors, some um, some carnos, you know what I mean? Crystals over here. I wonder if there's oil over here. If there's oil, I should probably, oh, wait. Is that obsidian or oil? Hold up, I might, uh, nothing's up here to kill me. Oh, raptors in the distance. Is that obsidian or oil? I don't know. I'm gonna I'm hit it just one time. One hit, one hit. What is Obsidian? Okay. Oh. Got a blast. Got a blast. I don't think I've ever mined um, oil now. Now that I think about it, I don't know what oil looks like. I don't know if, ever, ever, if I've ever mined oil. Let's drop this. I don't want to be too overweight. And we're just going to drop half of the wood because I can already notice myself going slower with the wood on me, so... But yeah, um, we're going to go back home, and I'll see you guys once we actually get there. I have magically stumbled across this blue drop. There's also a green drop over there that's dropping, so we might get that as well. But I didn't want to miss a chance. I saw this guy coming down. I was like, you know what? Might as well get you. There's no dinosaurs nearby either. Drop down real quick. Oh, uh, here we go. All right, what do we have? We have ourselves a giant blueprint gate and a... Primitive lands. Interesting. Okay, 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 okay. We'll take it. We'll take it just to take it. And we're also going to look at this green one over here. If there's no dinosaurs around, because I don't want to die. <laughs> Can't really see what's down there with all this greenery everywhere, you know? Oh, that's deep down there, too. Uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I don't really see much of anything. Oh! Got a full set of gear! That's uh, We can use that as backup gear, because we already got hide gear. So we can really just use that as backup gear. Not bad. I'll take a full set of gear. I will not deny myself a full set of gear at all. Where are we supposed to be going? I think we go this way. Yeah. Right in the crevice. Right in the thumb. We're on the thumb. Right in the thumb. The crevice thumb. The thumb of crevices. This is exactly where we are. And we're going to need stamina soon. <laughs> I'm going to have to land in the, the forest of trees. The camouflage and dinosaur. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Okay. I, 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 when I get home. I got you. I got you. When I get home. All right. We made it back home. And I'm just going to drop off. All of this inside of here. And then I think I just need stone at that point. Um, there's like three stone in here. We might as well take that. 
We just need a bunch. Well, not really a bunch of stone. We just need, like, pretty much enough stone. I think all my stone's in here, actually. 91. We need to get more stone. <laughs> We're going to need more stone than that. Um, But, yeah. Uh, well, wait. Hold up. What am I making again? Wasn't it... Do, uh, it was electronics, right? Wait, wait, wait. Why can't we make the polymore? Am I making it in a wrong crafter? Poly. Polymore. Oh, this has... Wait. Yeah, this has to be made in the fabricator. So we have to make the fabricator? Fabric. Okay. Okay, we can actually make this. I, I believe we can actually make this, especially since we already got, like, the cementing paste part done. We got crystal. We got cementing paste. Uh, let's see here. Structures. Definitely not it. Maybe it is it. Structures. Crafting. We're missing. So we need 35 metal, 10 oil, and some spark powder. To make the spark powder, we need flints. Okay, so we need the... We need metal. We need, also need flints. How do I not have flint? I think flint might be in here, right? Okay. Okay, cool. So we'll just take this. Excuse me. Put it in there, and we'll just make 50, just to make 50, for 50 sakes. And then we need to need a little bit of metal. Probably can't carry all this. Can I? Oh, I'm a big boy. Oh, I took one. That's <laughs> that's why I only took one. I'm still a big boy. I'm still a big boy. There we go. There's the metal. And then a little bit of spark powder. And there. All right. Now what are we missing? We just need oil. We need a little bit more spark powder. Okay. And we need uh, tin oil. I think we have like 15 in here. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of close. We might have to find some tech raptors just for the oil. Or try to go uh, mine some oil or something. Because um, we're also going to need oil to make the chiropods, right? So using tin here and then having like five left over is not a lot of oil. Not a lot of oil at all. But yeah, now we can make ourselves the fabricator, which is really, really good. Um, let me see how much we need for the cryo part. Cry. Okay, so we need four oil. Okay. So we should be able to just at least make one. Should be good. Now, I forgot how to actually turn on the fabricator. I think you need gasoline. Was it gasoline or oil? I uh, honestly have no idea. I think it was gasoline. I think to make gasoline, you have to like have oil in a furnace or something like that i don't know I'll, I'll do i'll do a little bit of research uh see what we actually need for that because i've quite literally have no idea no idea we got a lot of spoiled meat in there which is actually kind of nice Are you done yet there you go okay nice and uh we're probably gonna have to get a foundation here we go see you guys i'm prepared you guys proud of me i'm like Super duper prepared. Kind of. And then we'll just put you right there. Fabricator. Nice. Awesome. And now... Elect... No, no, no. Composites. Okay. Cementing paste and obsidian. So... Boom and boom. Awesome. So how do we turn you on? Fabricator mechanics items requires gasoline to be activated. I'm gonna go do some research. Okay, so after some quiet deliberation, apparently the way that you get oil, my good friends, is you have to burn um, oil, or how do you get gasoline? You have to burn oil and hide. And I've been here for like a good 10, 15 minutes burning them, and I didn't get any gasoline. So I'm thinking I need more oil than just five oil. That's my, that's my thought process here. So we're going to try to find some oil. Now, I know that oil generally spawns around the same area where crystals and iron, you know what I mean? So like around that place. Um, so I got to figure out where to go. <laughs> that's the whole, I got to figure out where to go. Um, I'm thinking we can maybe try to go back to the, the snow area um, to see if we can find any spawns there. Because I, I, I'm really confident in that area. That will find oil, right? Um, but I do want to get, you know, do a little bit more investigation on the other side of the thumb. 
also want to try that area as well because there's a you see this mountain here and there's a little small mountain over there so i found it i just find it hard to believe that there's no you know like oil or iron or crystal over there so i uh, do want to do a little bit of investigation if we don't find any then i'm pretty confident in the snowy area mountain because the mountains are bigger and there's crystals over there and everything um so i, I am confident in that but we're just gonna try out uh we're gonna try out the first location first you're running a little bit low on meat there my friend there you go let me get that and actually let me get your height too because i need both of those but yeah we're gonna try to go over there real quick um Hopefully we might get lucky here. And it's a shorter distance, right? That's that's one of the main reasons why I wanna go because it's shorter. Like if we do find oil over there, like it, it will be worth it, right? And it's not like a really long trip. So if we don't find oil, then like we can always just go to the snow biome and get ourselves some oil that way. Um, so it's like a, you know, it's like a win-win situation, a little bit of adventure. Maybe we, we can even find like a new area to build our base other than this big ass cabin chasm chasm cabin chasm same difference um but yeah other than this big place here because this place is huge i think it'd be great for a base but it is it's pretty far from everywhere but i think it looks freaking awesome like look at this look at this whole area down here i think it looks wonderful where are we okay okay uh let's see Nothing but rocks that I see so far. I think I want to go down this way, though. You never know what's down here. Oh. Oh, I thought the, I thought those small little rocks were something. I'm about to say. But they were nothing, unfortunately. Oh, huh, still not seeing much of anything. I wonder if they can also be in the water. Because I think oil is more prominent in the water or something. So, hmm. Instead of me looking like on this area, maybe I should be looking in the water? Maybe? I'm actually not sure. Let me get some rest, though. Give my man some stamina. Maybe, though. I'm actually going to try that real quick. Hopefully there's no sharks in here. Gotta pay attention to my oxygen. And sharks. No oil though. As far as I can see. Oh wait. Okay, so there's... That's... Oh, That's risky. That's in there. There is oil. But I don't have a swimming mount. And look how far it is. Stingrays and... I mean, this one right here would be like... The better one to try to get, right? There's no dinosaurs near it. Well, man, that is far. That's really far down. Like, do I even have the oxygen to do that right now? That's what I'm thinking. And then there's that. Uh, there's, there's that dino right there. Oh, there's a shark right there, too. Yeah, we're definitely not going to be able to do that one. When we hit this rock, what does this rock give you? Oh, this, this is just nothing. It gives you nothing, apparently. But yeah, that's really far down. I'm not confident in that. I am not confident in that at all. Especially since I don't have a mount or anything to go down there. Yeah. Oh, I'm running out of stamina. Oh, I've ran out of stamina. I forgot swimming uses stamina. It's a good thing we have enough to actually not uh, drown to death, though. It'll just take us a little bit to get home. <laughs> not home, but get to the shore. But yeah, I mean... At least now we know where oil is. We just have no way of getting it without dying. 
Because I'm pretty confident we'll die from that. Ah. Uh, let's see. What would be to play here? Hmm. I'm thinking tech dinos. I think I think tech dinos is what we should do. It's either tech dinos or try to find a swamp biome, tame a creature that can swim in water, and then come back here. Oh, there's a carno over there. Where's my mount? I should probably hurry up and get to get to Petty. Come on, you can walk now. Look, he's walking. There we go. Let me get some stamina. But yeah, um, tech dinos or just a swamp biome. I think those are the only two things we could do right now. I it just tech dinos are just so RNG. I have no clue where a tech dino is. But if we could find one, maybe even like two, like maximum, like like two or three, we should be able to make a chiropod out of that, right? Killing two or three of them. I think we should be able to make a chiropod out of like two or three tech dinos. If we can find any, though. We'll probably have to do a lot of searching uh, for one, though. Which we can do. It, it'll just take a while. Man. But yeah, okay. Um... I'm gonna look around a little bit for some tech dinos, see what we can find. Hopefully we can find some. Hopefully. And if we do, I will see you guys once we do. So I've been in the uh, the little, not really like the, the ice biome uh, necessarily, but I've been on the outskirts of the ice biome as you guys can, oh, mouse not out. As you guys can see, we're on the outskirts a little bit and I cannot find oil. I, I just can't. I don't, I do have a lot more ice. Oh, look, Santa Claus. That's the first time I've ever seen him in the sky. That's crazy. But uh, yeah, I do have a lot more to to look at uh, when it comes to like the outskirts of the ice biome and looking for oil. And I also notice in the distance there, you see that smoke? It's like a fiery smoke down there. Now we got to go there. We got I'm pretty sure it's mad far. And it's going to take us a while to get there, but I think it's a volcano. And whenever you see a volcano, I mean, where else are you going to have oil? You know what I mean? Like, you know, I, I just I just feel like a volcano. Ooh, I got to have it. 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 Take it all. Run. So we got a silencer, like a blueprint. Oh, my God. Look at them. Look at that guy. So much goodies everywhere. Got the blueprint silencer and a level 50 Quetzal. Hmm. Not good enough for me, my friend. Not good enough for me. But anyways, um, yeah, I do want to go to this volcano over here. I don't know if it's a volcano. It could very not be a volcano and just a car on fire. But we're going to assume that it's a volcano and I see a tech raptor. We might not even have to go to the volcano. What are you? That's a parasaur. A tech raptor parasaur. How much health do you have? Or what level are you? So I can know how much health you have. Oh man, level 114. Um, let's see what we have here. What is flying above me? It's the Quetzal. Okay, I'm just making sure. Is that the same Quetzal? There's like no other Quetzals here, right? Yeah, you're the same Quetzal. But yeah, we definitely want to take out this uh this tech raptor, or not raptor, but tech parasaur. I'm probably gonna be able to shoot it like maybe one time with my crossbow just to do like a decent amount of damage already. Boom, 190, and he's off. Oh, I got a 95 in there. Okay, and then we can just follow up with uh, this dude. Nice low 65s. This should take him out, and we should get oil from this. I don't know how much oil, but we should get a, li a little bit, right? Okay, here we go, here we go. I want to do this before any, like, actual demons come out of the woods, because we're deep in the woods right now. Come on. 21? 21. Will that be enough? I think we need like six oil to make gasoline. Then we need a little bit more. I still want to go to this location down here though. I think we should still go to this location. Maybe we'll find another. If we find. Let me see. If we find one more tech and we kill it, get the oil, we're just going to turn around and go home. You know what I mean? And just craft what we need to craft. But. If we don't, I do want to check out this area over here. Unless we find like an oil rock on these outskirts here, which, you know, is, is possible. I don't see any, but, you know, you never know, you know? And it's, it's all in the sense of adventure. Ew. 
You. What level are you? Ooh. What level was that? Ah, alpha level 50 alpha raptor. Think I'm able to take him out? I don't know. There's really no other carnivores here. Let's see. Let's see. Ah. I'm scared, man. I'm scared. That man is fast, too. Maybe we'll come back. Wait, is that tech? That's a tech, isn't it? What? That. Oh, it's a dead. Oh. He's dead, too. This is. This is risky. Where is he? This is extremely risky. Wait, where did he go? Is he right here? No, that's the leaves and grass and everything. Did he just despawn? Oh no, he's right there, he's right there, okay. All right, let's do this, let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, I'm getting hit. Oh. Oh, okay, let's get back. Ah. All right, let's go, let's go. We're going, we're going back home, we're going back home. We have 27 oil, this should be enough oil, okay? Uh, we'll, we'll go to the volcano. Volcanoes. Apparently, there's two of them. We're definitely going to go there another time, okay? I know I hyped you guys up a little bit. I was like, we're going to go to the volcano. No, 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 no. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet, okay? Not not just this minute. We're definitely going to go there, just not just this minute, because we got the oil we need. I think 27 oil should be enough, right? Um, we need six for gasoline. We only need, like, a little bit of gasoline to, to start that fabricator, and then we need, uh, I think it was five oil per polymore let's actually see that real quick just in case just in case so to make polymore you need wait oh no we don't wait no, no. oh wait no, no no i need to make the uh the chiro to make the chiro part we need four oil okay so yeah we just need four oil for that five or six for the gasoline and we're good yeah we got all the oil we need yeah let's uh let's go back home before we die out here we don't want to we didn't want to take too many chances we took a few Landing right next, well, not really right next, but in the vicinity of an Alpha Raptor. Risky. Ooh, look at this bridge situation over here. Ah, I like the vines. I need some I need some stamina, so we're going to land. But I do like the vines. I wonder if I can walk on this. Probably not, right? I mean, they are vines, after all, right? Let's try it. Oh, no, we can't. <laughs> We can't walk on the vines. That'd be really cool if you could, though. Wait, nah, you can't walk on the vines. Um, but yeah, look at this. Wow. This is a good area for a base. Where are we, where are we on the map, actually? Nah. I want to go a little bit deeper in the map. I want to be, like, in the middle. Like, not, like, in the middle middle, but roughly in the middle of the map. Before I make my base. Um... Or at least like on a good side of the map. Like maybe like an island or something like that. I think it would be really good. I don't know where any islands are though. Uh, we got to do a little bit more adventuring for that. But there's no such thing as having, you know, a bad base, right? We can have more than one base. We we don't necessarily need to have like just one base. We can definitely have more than one base. Which we might actually do. Hmm. Maybe we'll have a base on an island a little bit further away. But like a good island. You know what I mean? For like taming and stuff because i like islands islands are secluded i feel like they're easy to tame on islands um especially if it's like an island where the water isn't too deep right i feel like it's really easy to tame on islands because you get a lot of you get a lot of things spawning and uh we need we're just gonna run away from you and lay on this rock but you get a lot of stuff spawning in one area which is really good oh man he just doesn't like us. We should be able to make it up here. You're definitely not making it up here. Right? You're not even running after us. Yeah, take out the Parasaur. Take out the Parasaur. But yeah, uh, I think an island situation would be awesome. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and head back home. And I'll see you guys when I get there. Alright, so we ended up making ourselves the Polymore. Which is pretty much the only thing uh, we're missing here, right? Let's see. Yep, Poly. Uh, not, that's not what I wanted to look for. Crypto. Okay, so... We got the eight part more. No, we need the oil, metal ingots, hide, fiber, and crystal. Um, let's see. It was fiber. Uh, we definitely need this much, bro. We're gonna take it anyways. And we're missing something. 
Are we missing something? Hold up. Do we have everything? Um, let's see. Crystal fiber hide metal oil polymorph. Crystal fiber hide metal oil polymorph. Okay, we have everything. Yeah, we, we're good. Now, how many can we make with this, actually? We might be able to make more than just one. Let's see. So, it takes eight polymorph. Polymorph is probably going to be our bottleneck here. It takes eight poly. And we have... If we could get four more, we can make three. And I would not be opposed to making three. The only way we do that is we get more obsidian. And I don't think we have any obsidian. Pretty sure we don't. Yeah. Let me look just just in case, just in case, just in case. Never know. Okay, we don't have obsidian. A little bit of a bummer. Um, but I'm happy with two. I'm happy with two. So now we've got to find ourselves a drop. And I'm pretty sure Petty's not going to be able to carry us with all... Yeah. Petty's not going to be able to carry us with all this on us. Um, and the biggest thing holding us down would probably be the metal, realistically. And we only need two metal ingots, so we could pretty much drop almost all of this. Um, let's drop 164. Okay, we have one now for some reason. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Transfer, transfer. Okay, we only need four. All right, what's our weight at? What are you looking at now? Okay, our weight's good. Can you carry us, Petty? Oh, barely. Let's drop a little bit more of something. Uh, probably the crystal, right? That would make sense. And we only we only need ten crystal. Um, so which means we're making two, so we need twenty. So we could just split this in half. Drop the rest in there. Everything else pretty much just doesn't take up that much weight. You should be able to carry us pretty... Yeah, you can carry us nicely now. Um, we just need to find a drop somewhere. Which shouldn't be too difficult. I mean, they spawn pretty frequently. It's either that or we go to one of the, the pedestal thingies. Which we've never been to one of those before. And I think they're kind of far. So maybe not. Maybe we just look for a drop. I think the drop would probably be the, the best solution here. Unless we just can't find a drop and then we just fly all the way to that thing over there. Or the one to our right, which is definitely probably further. But hopefully we can find a drop. I found a few drops on the way over here. It wasn't too difficult. Um, but when... Oh, there's one. I see it in a distance. Hopefully it doesn't despawn by the time we get over there. Let's go over there. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. We're at the drop. No carnivals around, which is wonderful always always wonderful always wonderful um let's see here so how do we make this weapons and we got to transfer all the items inside of you and boom two chiropods cooking up so we got ourselves a little bit of irrigation stuff going on here which honestly might not be too bad since uh i don't know i might want to make something dealing with plants eventually um especially for like fertilizer and stuff so that'll definitely be something we probably should probably do more than likely but let's take our stuff back since we can't make any more um i'll pick up the composite bin i don't want small crops and i guess i'll pick up the rest of this stuff and then we'll just drop the small crops on the floor like that okay cool awesome we got ourselves chiropods um so now that we got ourselves oh look at the panther now that we got ourselves some chiropods we can now transport animals across the seas which is amazing that way we don't have to struggle on trying to make an argentin follow us to the base to tame it at the base and everything i mean we tamed the argentin he could just fly back with us to the base but like for land animals it just got a whole lot easier for land animals um a whole lot easier thinking of land animals i think it's time for us to invest in a land dinosaur that does damage i think it's that time I think it is definitely, definitely, definitely that time. Um, we just got to find out where they are. So there's, I want to say, two animals that I'm thinking of. Um, but one is a must, and that's a thylacolio. That is a must-have for us. And I know he spawns in, like, the desert biomes. Um, some, somewhere in the desert biomes. I don't know where desert is on this map. Usually it's, like, we're in the north, and there's also a mountain next to us. So I'm, I'm 
thinking he's probably going to be south. Um, but, like, the thing is, we're in the north-north. Like, we're up there. We're in the north-north. You know what I mean? So, it'll probably be a while for us to even go all the way down there. Because that's a really, really long trip down south. That is a extremely long trip. So, I believe that I want to try to get ourselves a better uh, flying dino. That's a little bit faster to take that trip down there. Um, and I have no clue where to get one of those either. So... Uh, we're gonna be we're gonna be stacking up a lot on narcotics. That's pretty much what I'm. We're, we need to get ourselves a bunch of narcotics because one, we're gonna be taming a new flying dinosaur, which is gonna be better than this little guy here that flies a little bit faster, so we can get the point A to point B a lot quicker. Um, we're gonna need one of those. Um, I don't know which one, but it's definitely not gonna be the RG because RGs are slower than these guys. Um, and then we're also gonna need a better like just ground mount that's good for damage. Like damage per second i think uh i think that would also be pretty amazing to have um but yeah uh, other than that man i really do appreciate you guys watching this episode we got ourselves some cryo parts two cryo parts not too bad not too shabby at all thank you guys for watching i hope to see your beautiful faces on the very next episode my name is smeljo and uh yeah you guys have a wonderful 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 day my good friends i'm home i'm home guys i got ourselves some cryo pods hopefully you guys know what that means I know you're going to know what that means. Yes, try.